There we are. We're early. Just to make sure in case there's technical difficulties, I wanted to be sure. <laughs> Let's see, Jamie, she's recouping from a family cookout. Must have been a heck of a family cookout. <laughs> or what did you say? No, I thought maybe she did all the cooking for the family cookout. That would, that would <laughs> knock me out, too. Yeah. Jennifer, uh, here after my premiere. Okay, you got a video premiering. Uh, good for you. Tani, hey. you're so tired tonight. Uh, you've been out in the garden or uh, just a long weekend? I don't know. Did you get any of the storms, uh, Tani? We, uh, I think everything went north of us, kind of a, what did you say, it Lake It stayed Dillon? southeast of us and ran north, or southwest and ran northeast. So we, we were just on the northern edge of it as it was running through everything. But I think the heaviest stuff was a Lakeville to St. Paul yeah. kind of uh, run, and they got some possible tornadoes. I think they confirmed them. Okay. A friend of mine had a tree drop. Uh, it's beautiful not spindly, but, you know, probably yay big around, a foot around and big, big tree. It got knocked at about 10 feet off the ground and landed right on their deck. They had wrought iron uh, on the deck and two inches of rain. Yeah, the wrought iron deck was just knocked down, broke a bunch of wood, landed on a table and chairs. <laughs> it's like whatever it could perfectly land on, it did. So, uh, oh, my. What did we get? Three... Uh, we had 32 hundredths of an inch. So we didn't get a lot. We got, um, I checked the we uh, National Weather Service site and we got over 50 mile an hour winds and my peppers, I was going to do a pepper. We did do a pepper video that's going to come out and well. There was a little bit of collateral damage, but nothing too bad. No. Well, I cleaned up some of it this yeah. morning too. Yeah. But there was a few pepper plants that had, uh, didn't hear a storm, but I saw them do. Yeah. Where was your friend? Uh, which? Uh... Oh, the one that you said, Lakeville. She was. In oh Lakeville. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, you you combined it, Tanya, and I'm not thinking two things. Yeah, my friend's in Lakeville, uh, southern part of Lakeville. So just off of 35, and I guess I don't know the cross street. I know she's near that Target there off of 35. Mm -hmm. So, um, hi Rebecca, good to see you. And uh, Nelson's in here, Mr. IP Nelson. Farms. Good to see you. Nelson, you're live the other night. It was so good to see your wife. And I was telling him, uh, I didn't, you know, you keep hearing that, the, hearing about the wife, hearing about the wife. Uh, it's like a, a Norm's wife from Cheers. You hear about her, but uh, was it Vera or what was? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you never see her. So uh, I, I wondered if she even existed now. You know, I'm not really married. I just, uh, when we do lives and when I need someone to film, I've, I've rented a, a gal here locally. <laughs> um, no, it was a good, uh, a good uh, uh, live. It was fun. It's, it looked, looked like your trip. Uh, you did your other test live there. What a gorgeous beach uh, place you had, Nelson. So uh, good for you. We're, uh, I'm not saying when or where, but we just locked down a little beach time for mm -hmm. Holly and me. So uh, yeah, that will be fun. Looking That's forward to something it. to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, getting our toes in the sand uh, is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, your wife was a really good, you know what? Actually, what is your wife's name? I never, uh, I don't think I heard it. So uh uh, put that down, uh, Nelson. I'll try to remember. Hi, Lori. Thanks for joining us. And Paula. Um, Paula's uh, Paula's in the house. Hey, my chicken gurus. <laughs> oh, Paula, you know what? Uh, we got 30. We we're just telling uh, Tani we got 32 hundredths of an inch of rain, but we had a bunch of wind over 50 miles an hour. So we were, uh, uh, I was planning to do a video on growing peppers. So we've got so many peppers and we've done well with peppers and our pepper patch got beat up last night so yeah. uh we filmed it anyways um let's see jamie's here so jamie that uh, the party must have been good phil peterson farms of nashville how are you doing dawn's here hi dawn hope things are going good for you okay terry uh nelson your wife's name is terry um let me uh see uh I, you wrote it down good. I gotta, I gotta write things down and then look at it a few <laughs> times to, to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rebecca, almost done with the hats. 
winter's almost coming here. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, hey, Nick from uh, Larson Farms, how are you doing? You know what? I gotta make. Uh, I gotta get a couple moderators. Uh, who uh, is anybody moderated before that knows how to throw out uh, channel links? Uh, okay. What? Larson's good. Um, they're not in blue. Not on there. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. Nick, I don't know if, if, if you got time, I don't know if you don't, or, uh, uh, Glenda, if you welcome Glenda, before I ask you to do something, welcome. <laughs> uh, if anybody's got a chance and can throw out some, some channel links, I'd really love it. Um, Tani, you got to, it floods every time your garden's going to be nice and, uh, nice and moist there. If you got two inches of rain last night, um, <laughs> Hopefully it didn't wash away everything. Yeah, hopefully uh, everything's doing well. Our tomatoes are doing well. They're just ready to ready to rock and roll. Um, there, let me. Whoops, I hit the wrong uh, wrong button. I don't know. Uh, I made it to a live finally, Kelly. You did. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Kelly's down at uh, Mickelson Family uh, Homestead, another uh, Minnesota channel. Um, what I need to do before I forget it, um, Nelson from IP Farms uh, is on here. And hopefully, uh, uh, Glenda, if you could throw the IP Farms link out there. Nelson just went over a thousand subs. Nelson's got a great channel, great channel, um, a lot of farm gear. He's getting his farm, his family's farm. Um, some things that his ancestors had farmed for a long time. Um, and Nelson's getting the farm back in gear and has done wonders. Nelson's also got a donkey or a mule. I, I, you know, I can't tell the difference, but he's got one or the other donkey or mule. And Nelson just went over a thousand subscribers. So congratulations on hitting that milestone. One of many. He said if he will get uh, to 1,100 subscribers by the end of September, he will ride that donkey. I want to <laughs> see a video of that. So if, if anybody is not a subscriber of Nelson at IP Farms, his show is awesome. One of the nicest guys on YouTube um, and just great, great fun content building up a, a, a farm. Subscribe to Nelson, <laughs> please, please. You, you won't regret it. Uh, and I want to see Nelson on that darn donkey. So <laughs> um, I, I got to uh, give a give a plug there. Um, I did not say hi to Jennifer, uh, Northern Girl Hobbies, Hobbies. I know she's waiting for a premiere to hit. Um, there you go. Yeah, share it on your community page. Uh, we got to see the donkey yeah. ride, please. Um, and then just... We got a, that video. We're going to hit likes. We're going to share it. We're going to, that thing's going to go, go, uh, viral. go nuclear. <laughs> um, old Jack. Yeah, that's right. I, was, I, I get on the spot on these lives and I can't remember the, the name, but Jack. Yeah. Everything there. Yeah. Uh, Nick, everything is coming to harvest. I, I've got a picture to go along with a video. I'm going to try to get it out in the morning about growing peppers. We just did, we just processed and we didn't pick them all because we got we got to pick them on Tuesday for our people coming to yep. the CSA. How many peppers did we do? 16 pounds. 16. 34, 36. It's more. It's like 36 or so peppers we processed in 40 minutes. We got a new <laughs> chopper and it works wonders. So uh, yeah. we rocked on that. So now we've got six pounds of peppers down in no, the 16. 16 pounds of peppers. <laughs> Um, anybody local needs peppers. Have we got peppers for you? <laughs> Green yeah. peppers. Wow. Um, so that was good. It, uh, you know, everything's uh, coming to harvest. Uh, Nick was saying we'd kind of talked about a, a topic for tonight. And, it, you know, we, we think it's going to go one direction and then things take a, a turn exit stage left. Uh, <laughs> we we're talking about what worked in the garden this summer. Uh, some of us in the northern uh northern part of the country, we're coming to the end of our growing season, period. And others are getting ready for fall, uh, their fall garden. And, uh, you know, especially our friends in Texas who have been just battling the heat, Texas, Oklahoma, they're getting ready for kind of second chance uh, where they can garden. So 
we were talking about what worked and what didn't work. And uh, I asked Holly to make a, a little list. Um, you know, what? I'm going to start out with one that's a what didn't work and what did work, which is funny. I, you know, I make salsa. <laughs> and so I bought some uh, poblano ancho peppers, started them out, got into the garden after everything was mature. And I looked and said, boy, those look funny. Holly took a pic. Holly's Miss Google with her phone. So she <laughs> takes a little picture and she starts doing all this. And well, for sure, they're not poblanos. I didn't know no, what the heck they were. they're long, skinny, and they're turning bright red. So we figured they were um, cayenne peppers. Cayenne peppers. So there's a fail right there on behalf <laughs> of uh, Livingston Seed Company. Guys, uh, you, you mess with my poblanos. But taking a, a negative and turning it into a positive. I decided I'd try my hand at making some hot sauce. So we got that we fermenting, got, right? Yep. It's a ferment. So this is a nipple top so that it'll go. release the gases, but it won't let any oxygen in. So this is going to sit and ferment for about 10 days to two weeks. And then we can take it out and blend everything up and give us a good hot sauce. Hopefully. I love my cayenne sauce. That mm -hmm. uh, Threw a little of our fresh carrots in there for a little sweetness and some garlic. Love the garlic yep. type. Lori, you're coming over for peppers tomorrow. I know if you need green peppers, I know mm -hmm. someone who's got them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, Glenda forgot to pick uh, green beans. Uh, oh, no. Missed the whole thing. Yeah, you've got a great <laughs> video. Glenda, you know what? And um, I said, here's what we're doing for the live. And then you put a video out that we were thinking the same thing. And it was great. Mm -hmm. You said, well, go check out Glenda's uh, channel. She's got It's a nice little short, but how she forgot to pick beans and turned it into a positive. So uh, really well done. And it, it, right in the spirit of, you know, let's learn from uh, what we did and didn't do. Well, uh, that was going to be my thing, too, is the green beans versus our yellow beans. Yeah. Our yellow beans just took off like gangbusters, Exploded. and it was hard to keep up with them. So then, yeah, we kind of let the green beans go Yeah, a the, little the, bit. They were... And the wax beans, I always thought, okay, these are different. They're waxy, you know, the name. They're going to be waxy. No, a wax bean is a green bean. Same thing, but it's changed. So it doesn't have the green chlorophyll in it. So it stays yellow. Mm -hmm. I learn something new all the time. Kelly, sad that it's coming to an end. I remember that last year in Minnesota, our first frost is in our area, October 1st. Last year, it didn't come. It just kept going and mm -hmm. we gardened into November. And after a while, yeah. I'm like, all right, it's time for this to be done. <laughs> I want to put stuff away. I want to get on with yeah. just looking at some chickens and thinking about mowing for the last time, that kind of thing. It just never ended last year. Yeah, and it wasn't until. <laughs> it, was, it was like uh, middle towards the end of November. All of a sudden we got a frost. It's like, yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> and so, then it, everything hit because it didn't give us a chance to really get out and clean the garden up. Right. Let's see. Uh-oh. John's got nothing worked for me this summer, but. Oh. You know what? It, this, and it has been a challenging summer across the country. If you watch, I watch a lot of channels. I, I think a lot of you watch a lot of channels. Everybody's been talking about lack of rain, triple digit weather. Um, you know, when they do get rain, it storms and, and uh, it's too much all at once for yeah. the ground to handle. And it, it doesn't soak in. It runs off a lot. So, yeah. Don, I, I think, you know what? I've watched your stuff. You've done great. Uh, you've got this thing set up, your, tre your trellis, your hoop uh, there. Um, our stuff is really just taking off now, the tomatoes, mm -hmm. um, because it's so hard to keep them wet consistently, mm -hmm. which they need. They need consistent moisture. And when they get that feast or famine, they don't like it. And then they get feast and they split. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, good yeah. job on the hot oh, sauce, son. <laughs> We'll see how it turns out in a couple of weeks. Oh, here you go. Oh. <laughs> Pumpkins in the mix. There you go. Oh boy. 
it's the variety pack that you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, the ferments, Glenda, you know, with your uh, your mm -hmm. hot sauce, I think that's been one of our successes was um, we've made um, sauerkraut before, but yeah. every time it works, I, I always still feel um, excited. Excited. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like it gets done <laughs> and we're it's filming. another experiment and it worked again. We were filming live and I, and Holly knew I liked it when I took that second bite and it was right on. I, yeah. I just loved our sauerkraut that fermented. So, um, yes. Come, I, yeah. And Glenda, if you've got other ideas or if you've got other videos you've already put out uh, on things you fermented, I would like to ferment more because that I, was such a great success. Again, I want to try those green beans again. Yeah. Fail on that one. Yeah. Uh, explain, explain. I that one. didn't have a good um, oxygen seal for the top. So, we were a little concerned about the the mold that came on top so we it was a small batch that i had started it wasn't more than a quart jar but i've got plenty of beans to give it a try again yep we pitched it uh just to be safe i don't when you're fermenting you never know what's in there it, it's yep. a darn petri dish at times oh, <laughs> i don't want to be putting that yep. okay here you're yes. gonna peruse my garden for sure come and walk around Lori. see what yes. you need Tomato again. <laughs> that was last year for us. It, it exploded. Yeah. This year. It, Not so much, but I've still got tomatoes left over from last year. My cherry tomato sauce, we've still got a bunch from last year. Cherry tomatoes are starting to, to really rock. Yeah. Uh, and some of them, well, there's just some that the, the black cherry, when they put out the one little strand and then all the flowers, and there's like 18 on a, oh, 50. On a strand. <laughs> um <laughs> We're, yeah. we're going to have a lot. we got another month probably, knock on wood. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there you go. Ta Tani, wonder who I, so did I, and I found out this summer. So, uh, um, no, here, Kelly, we were just talking. Tani down near Rochester got two inches of rain. We got 32 hundredths of an inch, but some 50-mile-an-hour wind. So I don't know what you, um, what time, uh, you know, what you got. So. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Jace, welcome. Welcome aboard. Uh, mm -hmm. On the other side of the globe, Jace it, and I watched a video today um, by from Daz down, down under as well. You are all counting forward. I remember how excited I was for spring to come. And now mm -hmm. I'm kind of Oh man, there's a, yeah. I've picked enough weeds for, you know, <laughs> you're, you're thinking ahead to, to next year. Uh, so uh, I'm glad you're excited. I uh, want to see some videos of what you're working on to do that. Gardening practice. You know what? Next year, Dawn, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, you got that, you know, your, your hoop, uh, your, trellis. your trellis. Tomatoes would really rock on there, and zucchinis, you can do that. You could even plant them together. Tomatoes could be grown up. The zucchinis could start on the edge and flow over. Um, you've got the perfect spot for it. Um, Uh-oh. Pumpkin's hanging where the cucumbers should be. Now we've, already, <laughs> we've already run through this. We've, yes. we've talked about vertical gardening and pumpkins. and All the uh, melons and stuff in general. Melons. And we're ta we've talked about melon hammocks and uh, <laughs> going, going to Goodwill and finding big bras and hanging this stuff. <laughs> One of our lives got a little, uh, I don't know, yeah. I wouldn't say racy, but uh, we had a lot of ideas going on. So, <laughs> you know, I, and... I have been thinking for next year about more vertical gardening. Uh, so, um, mm -hmm. because there's some things that don't need to root uh, at, you know, pumpkins, you put a pumpkin out and every time there's a leaf, there's also a spot where a root's going down. Well, with some watermelons, with uh, some squash, they don't do that. So if they're smaller, acorn squash, you could have them grow up a vertical trellis instead of taking all the space and uh, save some space mm -hmm. and they're small enough that they won't be right they're not a, a 30 pound yeah. georgia rattlesnake watermelon like we've got <laughs> out there so what's nick got uh, nice and calm you know nick you guys have been dealing with uh, that storm damage from early in the year with the tornado and i'm just amazed you all got anything in the ground and 
you must have been just working around the clock to uh, to get that all going. So that's unbelievable. Um, yeah, it's all coming at once, though. Once you got everything in the ground, then you know you're setting yourself up for uh, for here we go kind of thing. So let's see, Glenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're not having cucumbers. You know, each year and and this year, one thing we've got are cucumber beetles. I don't have any of the other beetles and uh, afflictions that others have with their squash and pumpkins and such. Mm -hmm. But cucumber beetles are everywhere. And I really yeah. don't know how to fight them right. So I haven't. I've just let things go. There was one squash that two of the vines, it just obliterated. And I just let that go. Um so far, damage has been fairly muted, although I did see one cucumber. We've got a pile mm -hmm. of cucumbers in the corner here. I did see one cucumber that had been, the skin had been eaten. Yeah, so. and that one was not under any leaves. That one was hanging up on the trellis okay. and exposed. kind of exposed. Everything else has been under protection. So I love making salsa, fermented salsa. Oh, you'll have to send that's, it back. That scares me. Uh, do you have a... Do you have a video on that? Um, I would love to, or do you know of a good video? Um, I, I'd love to. Uh, I love salsa, just love it. And I love mm -hmm. making salsa. I make, I don't say I do good in a lot of things. Salsa, I make good salsa. Yeah. I've done that he for does the decades. Good, simmered, thick. smoky, thick. Yeah, we've smoked peppers to put in there to give a little smoke flavor. Oh man, I love doing that. Nick, mm -hmm. we are right on. Cherry tomatoes, but black cherry and yellow pear. We've got yep. four kinds of cherries. <laughs> we got big. The large cherry. Large cherry, uh, black cherry, yellow, yellow pear, and then sweet 100s. And boom. I mean, it's just an explosion. Oh, and your Mexican midgets. Well, next, I got one plant from a friend. <laughs> he said, you got to try this. It's a little short. Well, no. I, I thought it was going to be a short little shrub. It exploded. It's taking up, you know, we've got these beautiful rows. I put it in the middle because we had an open spot thinking it's going to be a little shrub. Oh, no, it's everywhere. It's a full-size tomato plant with hundreds of just tiny. They're like little peas. Well, a little, little bit bigger. bigger. And you can like sit grape in. size. Maybe a grape. Yeah. Oh, my. They're, yeah. they're great, but. I'm they're amazing, it, but. <laughs> plant it somewhere else uh, next time. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, the nice thing about the four varieties we've got of cherries, they're so different visually, you can tell. Mm -hmm. And we just sent my mom home, and my mom's in assisted living. We sent her home um, with, with a bunch. A bunch. And it's so easy for her. She's visually impaired. Uh, that's a macular degeneration. Yeah. But even that way, she can tell the little sweet 100s from the big ones, from the, the black cherry, from the, the yellow pear. I mean, it's size or shape. She can tell. So... And a little bit of color too yeah from the sides we're so. getting ready for uh we're getting ready to really rock on those cherries though mm -hmm. when welcome now feeding and watering hey i've been late to so many <laughs> lives because of doing that same thing yep getting all our girls watered and fed and counted um let's see who's by rochester uh oh, yeah. tawny yep. tawny's She's on here tawny kurtz a uh, uh, couple down from this uh she's uh, down by rochester so good to let's see everybody's saying hi to everybody i just want to make sure i don't uh i don't miss anybody okay make sure someone's uh <laughs> kajari melons on a trellis where okay, I'm okay. Just, I'm down a bit you know there. uh and I'll have to look Glenda, up. that's good. I, I've been watching um, Heather at uh, Sage and Stone Homestead. Love, love her channel. Um, and she did Kajari uh, melons and seemed to have very good luck with them. I've never grown them. I've never tasted I've never one. I've never heard of them. Um, I hadn't heard of them till this year either. So yeah. um, awesome idea. And that's one of those things that's already on the list for next year. <laughs> We're trying, you know, we tried new things this year. Yep. Um, one of them being that Tani's asking, how are the baby doll watermelons? They're doing really good. We 
picked the first one and it was i would say a couple days immature but still mm -hmm. sweet i've never had a yellow watermelon before you know everything's always been pink or red it, it was really good yep very and, juicy very yep and the girls liked all the seeds that we were spitting around so yeah the squirrels love yeah um heather that i was talking about she had what was it a uh, a possum that was coming in oh. and eating her her melons it was leaving little bite marks and so i knew it had to be <laughs> something with a real narrow mouth and yeah it was a um, a possum that was taken finally they trapped it and moved it quite a distance away a live trap and let it go um it and now they're good reminds me of when we decided we needed to fence in the, the squash the first and, year and we, we had kept all seeing all the little bites in there from the chickens yeah we i'd go out and see <laughs> uh our girls the first year were very good at sampling every one of our squash <laughs> so we didn't sell a lot that year so uh yeah and I needless to say a fence went up around that section pretty quick never gotten watermelons you know what uh tani ours are just coming in right now uh, we're gonna have the georgia mm -hmm. rattlesnake and those are where am i there they're going to be about 30 pounds and these little baby dolls are about in the six seven pound range so yep. night and day but still really good ben's mm -hmm. with us hey welcome welcome ben good to see some uh, representation from out west and uh good to have you on board let's see you know what um i did tani if you look back i did my salsa video last summer i think something like try that, it yeah, yeah. um Unless we, are you talking about the fermented? If we do fermented, um, maybe we'll do a video on let's pull this together based on yeah. Glenda's recipe or whoever and uh, give it a run and see what our results are. It's always fun. Ben's here and uh, Jennifer's here. Welcome. Good to see you. Hopefully your uh, video premiered uh, the way you wanted it. Um, let's see. Off grid with Doug and Stacy. Okay, there they go. Fermented fermented spaghetti sauce. You're killing me. What? <laughs> I. You know what? There's always that funk, and I like that. I like that funk. But yeah. you know, like for sauerkraut, you need that funk. You need to have a little bit of uh, that for uh, for this cayenne pepper sauce. But spaghetti sauce. Ooh, that that's hard. You're outside my you're outside my box. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, let, let's try it. You know, we, we've got a lot of tomatoes, so we're going to make a lot of sauce. There's no reason why we can't have some sauce. So uh, let's see. I can always skip you. Wait, wait, wait. Am I, did, I miss, did I miss something on there, Ben? Did I skip you on something? I'm trying to catch all the comments here. Uh, wait, wait. We're in a tornado watch right now? Yes, we are. Oh, do, is there a line of stuff coming? I don't know. Let me take a look. I, uh, I don't have my radio on. I'm a uh, ham radio operator, and some of my stuff, uh, when Skywarn goes up, um, I'll get notified. And I guess I've had things off because of the live. So thank you for the heads up. Um, tornado watch means there's a chance. So it doesn't mean that something is uh, is not is there. So uh, yeah, I hopefully not. I don't see not. anything heading our way, really. Which means be... the conditions are right. Yeah. Trapped a possum. So it was squirrels down at your place. Okay, we've had um, we've had a bunch of squirrels. We haven't had squirrels yeah. since we moved in. All of a sudden, now we've got a bunch of squirrels. Well, we had red squirrels when we first moved in. Yeah, and they were they were removed. We, Boy, they can do damage to yeah. things. But there's squirrels. I'm looking out, going, why are our chickens eating acorns? Which Holly's saying is not good for chickens. I didn't well, I didn't know that. Um, well, it's because all the Squirrels are knocking them off the the one tree out here. So oh, we got squirrels. So did you end up trapping? Uh, let's see, trapped the possum. Did you trap all the squirrels then? Uh, um, I don't know, Tani. The three to you should be right about now. We got some late watermelon that got planted, and I'm just starting to see a little something. Oh, which uh, reminds me, Jennifer. Yes, giant Hopi. Letting the rest go to max size. What is max size? For some reason, I've got four vines from those Hopi squash, and they're out probably 10 feet. 
I've got one, let me see if I do it the right size. It's maybe the size of a tangerine, one squash. I'm watering, put down a little organic fertilizer. I've done that a couple times. I don't, I don't know what's not happening here and I've never grown them before. So, um, I'd love to have success on all of them with Hopi squash. And then what's the, the big, big one, um, oh, Hubbard. Hubbard squash. I've only got one small one of those too. So I'm oh. feeling kind of everything else is rocking. We're going to be doing a, a, a garden catch up video this week and things are catching up, but not those ones for some reason. Um, yeah, we'll, and then uh, there, Krubby the Beagle, welcome, another uh, down under, so uh, Krubby's checking in and saying hi to everybody, good to see you, uh, watched a few videos lately, I've been running in, uh, in streaks, gang, there's been so much going on, and all of a sudden I won't, and then I'll go to someone's channel, and I will watch like five of your videos <laughs> in a row, Boom, comment, boom, comment. You know, I watch them all. Uh, I'm, I'm a good viewer, but I, I, I'm, it's hard to watch every day. There's so much going on here. Uh, so I apologize if, if people think I'm blowing them off. I'm not. Um, range is west of Litchfield. Okay, for those of you not in Minnesota, sorry, we're doing a little Minnesota geography tonight. Um, there you go. You know what, Phil? <laughs> My dad always said, and my, my dad is a, was, my dad was born in 1925, and he said that they used to go out hunting squirrels, and he said um, there were several times where my grandfather made some very nice tasting squirrel. I've never had squirrel, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, catch my premiere. Oh, there you go. Okay. I Everybody, if you want to learn about Hopi squash, head over to uh, Northern Girl Hobbies, uh, Jennifer's video. I, I will check that out, Jennifer. You know, I, yeah. I watch your stuff. So um, 40 pounds. Well, mine's 4.0 ounces right now. So <laughs> <laughs> you know what, uh, um, Tani, we've been, we've got some patty pans. Yep. Uh, Holly goes, hey, look at these today. Uh, they're like frisbees now. They're monsters. Yep. So we gotta we gotta get out and Dinner figure out plate size. We gotta figure almost, out what to yeah. do with a bunch we'll of those. We will. Uh, our everybody in our uh, CSAs, uh, those people that come, they've been loving them because uh, it's something new. So uh, there you go. Yep. Take care, Kelly. Thank you for uh, for stopping by. We appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate that. So many channels to watch. Um, you know what, uh, Don, sometimes, you know, if there's four videos I got to watch and, and two of them are long, I will watch two long ones. Uh, cause I know it's important that everybody watches the full length of the video so that you get credit for it. There's something with the algorithm and all that, but, uh, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of videos out there. So there you go. 1920s. Yep. My dad was in 1925 and, uh, yeah, the depression, you got whatever food you could, you know, we talk all, everybody talks about preserving things or the, the $50 February, you know what, that's, uh, probably like for them would be like a $5 February or something, um, mm -hmm. way back then. So, uh, I can't imagine, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad we're doing some of that and, I, I will say we made a move yesterday mm -hmm. that locked us in for February and watch. There's going to be a video, be a few weeks off. We set something in motion yesterday. So uh, I, I'm feeling really good. We're supposed to pick them at about four yeah, inches. We know. <laughs> We've just been trying to. You know what? Actually, our, I know the one that we cut up when my mom came over. It was bigger than four inches, but I'm sure it's more tender. We did it kind of yeah. stir fried with some onions and zucchini, um, fried it up uh, with some oil, and mm -hmm. then once it softened up, put a little bit of uh, parmesan, parmesan in there. Yeah, oh, it was really good. There you go, squirrel dumplings. <laughs> there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> yep. Um, Northern Girl Hobbies. She binges and then two times the speed. There you go. I wonder videos. if YouTube gives you credit. For that, I, I just I don't want to you know if someone's got a I, I don't know there's so many rules with YouTube and I don't know what 
what's what. So there's a lot of rumors too. So mm -hmm. do you get half the credit if you do it at half the speed or double the speed or I don't know. Do I sound like a chipmunk when you play it at double the speed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's just uh, bad. Hey, Tina, welcome aboard. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, uh oh. Now, Glenda, you know, people say stuff, and, and my first reaction is, you know what, there are so many good stories and good things to be passed on. Um, how, my, how your grandma stored them. Mm -hmm. There's a whole series of videos you could do, Glenda, is, you know, grandma's stories or something, and try to reproduce, you know, like Holly's trying hot sauce for the first time. You know, your grandma stored tomatoes for long term. See if you can replicate what she did. That would be a great, um, yeah, mm -hmm. not just tomatoes and other food too. That would be a great series. I would, well, maybe it just, maybe you get one view and it'd be me. Um, but that seems like a really interesting series. Yeah. Um, they teach they us had some ways stuff of doing things where that worked. Yeah. That worked. Talking about successes, I looked over. Holly's done with her blanket. We got to show this up. No one, no one wants to see me. They want to see the darn blanket here. All right. Here's our uh, crochet victory for uh, the summer. I don't know. I said we we're going to tack that on the wall, and it's going to be our official backdrop. She's been working on that thing for. So there yeah. it is. So what is it? Eight feet or no, six feet? Probably six, six foot square. Six by six. Yep. She. Uh, Finished it up. Let's see. There you go. Tani, subscribe to Krubby. Yep. <laughs> Everybody check out Krubby. Krubby laying on the floor. <laughs> Krubby getting into stuff. There's just all sorts of, <laughs> seriously, it's fun. It's it's relaxing videos. I, I, I like them. But that's another one where I get over and all of a sudden I'll, I'll binge watch five or six of them. And uh, let's see. Modern Refuge. Okay. Oh, that'd be neat. Yeah. Okay. Holly's my personal assistant. She makes all the good notes, so I can keep uh, clicking on uh, on things. Okay. What's Gwen got? I'm gonna pick all the green tomatoes. Look at that wrapped in newspaper. Want one? Oh. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. And and they would last all winter then probably, or and it was cool under the bed. And the, the moisture paper. was being wrapped. Probably kept them from, yeah. That's cool. See, some of those things just on, it, it seems, when you hear it, it's like, yep, seems simple, seems uh, so logical. Mm -hmm. I would, at the end of the season, I'm like, oh, here, girls, chickens, <laughs> you can have the rest of them. I'm, I'm done touching tomatoes. Well, back then, you didn't want to just toss them to the chicken. So, um, I, Glenda, that'd be great. Or anybody, if you've got that, that might be a great collaboration is to uh, throw that out to people who might have old, uh, not not older parents, but uh, you know, my my parents are probably the age of some people's grandparents. Quite an age gap um, since they married so late. But some of those old old school, yeah, traditions uh, processes. Before they had the pressure canning and every all the equipment we do today, they had to find a way to preserve it. Yeah, because that's what they ate that winter. Yeah, and and so those things to be passed on, that would be a great series to hear from everybody. Mm -hmm. What, uh, um, what, there it is, Lori. <laughs> Thanks. Us, us guys don't ooh and ah over blankets, but uh, it was yeah. good. There it is. And Dawn gives you the lovely colors. Oh, thanks. It was just a variegated. So what are you working on now? Come on, let's. Uh, right. You're just getting going. Get, I, this will be the fall, <laughs> the fall fashion. I want to do some like floor pillow covers that I can take off and wash as needed, and so I found some good cotton yarn that I'm working on, and it'll probably be about 20 inches in size. So this is one side. And it's beautiful. I just I don't get into <laughs> it. She's like, oh, feel feel it. But Isn't that soft? It's soft, and it's just a <laughs> waffle weave. You can kind of see the pattern there, a waffle leaf stitch. I made a blanket out of this for one of my nephews, and my sister just loved it. So, yep. Tanya's excited about our tomato har harvest and, and a gorgeous blanket. <laughs> Thanks. 
Tomatoes are different now. Um, I don't know. I mean, so many different varieties and, yeah. and different. Uh, we've one of our successes is trying new tomatoes this year. And Holly mm -hmm. took some of the what varieties did you have? Oh, all, they were all four, all that we have. So the German pink, the Jersey Devil, yep. the San Marzano, yeah. and the Amish paste. Okay. And the, the last three, the paste, the Jersey Devil, and the San Marzano. Mm -hmm. The lack of seeds. I, I hate sauce that's got a ton of seeds in it. Mm -hmm. And the lack of seeds in those as she's processing, it was amazing. Uh, the, the German pink. It, it's a big, big tomato, yeah. and it's got it's got seeds in it. But man, man, oh man, oh man, the the lack of seeds in the other one was great. There you go. Oh, very cool. There we need we need our knitting and crocheting <laughs> group here. You guys can do a live and all. It, we'll figure out how to bring guests on. That's my next thing to do is bring on some guests. But we can get four. You guys can all knit together, and, uh, <laughs> knit and purl, and I don't know. Or just do a. A Zoom meeting or something. You know what? My mom, <laughs> my mom with uh, Jennifer, you know, your grandmother crocheted blind. My mom used to be a great quilter, great quilter. She's just some beautiful quilts. And with macular degeneration, where you lose your sight in the middle of your eye, you've got some peripheral. That was one of the first things that had to go was quilting. She just couldn't do it. And I could just tell that just crushed her. So that was hard um and maybe you know crocheting you can do blind it's more by feel i think with well it depends on the pattern and this and the, but if you keep it simple enough it can be yeah i think with uh quilting there's some other use use of machines and i think uh yeah. being blind and needles uh, don't go together well, so and cutting out your pieces and everything else is you know this is one yet yeah, um glenda even up here in minnesota my dad used to he would grow parsnips and carrots mm -hmm. and he would harvest them the carrots he would and keep in um straw outside even when it was you know way way below oh. zero and snow and that's what I, i've read that too before where they'll dig below the frost line wow. and then that's going to be your cellar oh do a cellar yeah this yeah, was just out in the open oh, though. okay um I, I can see a root cellar there's plenty of people have that you know, or did that. But they did actual outside and then covered yeah, it up. Yep. Yeah. And the parsnips, he would just leave in the ground. And I tried a couple. I'm not a parsnip fan by any means. They would get sweeter. Um, there we go. <laughs> Gwen, when, when do you guys really have winter? Come on. <laughs> no. No. You've still got, you know, three months of summer left, so. You're heading into your fall season. No, I'd be, you know, I'd, uh, just uh, watching something on TV. The snow's coming down. Holly's knitting or, or crocheting. And, you know, it is uh -huh. a nice uh, holiday season and trying to relax a little bit. Uh, well, let's see. I'm so Hey, Barb. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're we're talking about all, you know, we were talking about successes and failures. And we've gotten off on, on several tangents here per normal. So, uh Let's see, 100, 110 now, pressure canned, okay. There you go, you got a good good texture. Yeah, Barb, we're off on uh, all sorts of, uh, <laughs> all sorts of uh, different tangents here tonight. Let's see, did I see, I did see someone new, there we go. I'm not sure if it's both of you, Steph, Chris, welcome. Good to see you, thank you for joining us. Love the yarn. Yeah, we're, we're into crochet Thanks. stuff. You're yeah, this to... is just the Karen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just. Is that a easy, brand or a type yeah. of? Yeah. It's a Karen cake. Karen cake. Okay. I know nothing. Done the waffle stitch. Yeah, I can't knit. I've tried knitting and it just doesn't work. But the crochet, not a problem. She can she can be watching TV, looking at her phone, crocheting, <laughs> and carrying on a conversation with me all at the same time. So they let's see. They didn't like the acid, so they're breeding it out. Okay, that's, okay. that's some of the new varieties. Okay, yeah. and that's where I see uh, some people talking about some of the uh, 
heirloom varieties, they'll throw a little something in to take the acid down. Um, or increase it. Or make them seem to be less acidic. Okay. Um, yeah, I did see your video where you were talking about that. It's like, okay, I've got the same. Ours, uh, you know, it was so dry and we were watering regularly. And then we got wa a big rain a couple weeks ago. And we got a lot of cracks in some of them. So now we've worked through those. Now the ones that are on the vine now, we are trying to be so consistent about our watering here to get consistent, mm -hmm. good looking. The San Marzano's actually did okay through all of that. It was our Amish paste. and that the our long ones? Jersey Devil are the long ones. And okay. The Amish paste are the other big ones on okay. the end. Oh, yeah. And they both cracked. Yep. They, they both cracked both really did. bad. The first grouping. So yep. I don't know. Let's see. What'd you learn? Have to have shake lot. You know, Barb, we were talking about that earlier. Just, you know, uh, Dawn was talking about failures. And you know what? It, it's been a tough, tough year. Um, we were talking about uh, Texas, Oklahoma, down there with triple digit weather, with no rain, with when you get rain, it's just torrential and it runs off a lot. You guys have really had a tough, uh, but yeah, shade cloth uh, can help. If it's going to be triple digits and sunny, mm -hmm. you got to protect them in some way. It's uh, it, It's been tough on everybody. Lufa gourds, there you go. I've never grown those. Uh, and I know people do people do good business with those, you know, cracking them at the right time or, or opening them and cleaning them and drying them and selling them at craft fairs and other people give them out at the holidays. And I've just never, that might be something to, I've never, to try maybe a couple. Holly, you're on it. You're on it. I just, <laughs> it, it was something we, we talked about earlier, about uh, some vertical gardening too, and how to take squash and melons and stuff and go vertical instead of using up a lot of space um what could we do so um that that might be mm -hmm. one because uh, there's a couple things i don't think i'm going to try again the um what's the the round squash that um, we've tried a couple times now oh the butter cup butter cup and i've got like you know i put an entire packet of seeds out there that threw out vines i've got four Buttercup. I've never had good success. Last year, they the vines just died. Just died. And no. we water them, we fertilize yeah. them, we do everything, I think, right. Um, could just be the wrong. It could be the wrong gardener for that. Uh, I'm just not the right gardener for that. Who Strong knows? Strong spot for us, too, for it. Hybrids were more disease resistant. Large harvest the city was lower than the cross. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Just trying to see what's different from yeah. uh, old old school versus now. Um, Tani is going to look at loofahs. Tani, I'll trade you. Trade you some other stuff for some loofahs then. See, then we don't need <laughs> Tani can do loofahs and we'll trade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is tough. My mom, you know, with the vision going, the cool yeah. thing was so tough. Um, let's see. Try it. Okay. Uh, I know that, and there's quite a few people who do loofah. Um, we got, there's a couple in Minnesota here that do loofah. So I, I can't think our weather here in Minnesota is much different from Ontario. So actually, I think we're further north it, for certain spots. Yep. Yeah. We're, we're further north in Toronto. Yeah. Um, here and we're in southern Minnesota. So that's always a good uh, trivia question. Mm -hmm. What's the, what was it? Uh, the furthest? I forget. The what. furthest north that uh, World Series World, was played. And it was it a baseball? Us. Was, We're the furthest yeah. north. And you think Toronto, but it's not. Um, you don't use a shade cloth. Okay. And you're both in Texas, so uh, uh, do you get any bleaching or anything, um, or anything that that is? You'll see in our video this week, our uh, our tomato hoop tunnel, Tor uh, tomato alley, not tornado, uh, tomato alley. <laughs> um, it's it's shading everything now. So yep. uh, it's shading everything at the base. It is completely covered. It's amazing how tall these darn things are. 
Um, but it, we, we haven't had shade cloth. How's one sleeping blind? Woodworker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just yes. wondered with, uh, and, and her age is part of it uh, too, but uh, I have noticed her, which is great for when we brought out, we talked about our four cherry tomatoes. We brought out one of each. Mom's losing her eyesight or it's going quite quickly. Her sense of taste and she can hear those other senses mm. pick up for it. And she, you could tell, you know, I like certain cherry tomatoes, the same ones. When she popped one in her mouth, you could just tell on her face right away. She was, she was all over it. So I think her sense of, of taste, which is good. Yeah. If you lose your sense of taste. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Let's see. There you go. Finally uploaded. Don, thank you for joining us. Uh, have a good night. I hope uh, my email to you made sense. If not, shoot me one back. I just uh, want to get the, the right, let's talk. Because uh, I think that's the only thing that I would change. I think your quail would, would, it would just rock. It'd be a great little thing. So thanks for joining us. Oh, the, okay. So Lufa, they're not for your area. Okay. I think uh, Elise, who's in southern Minnesota, she lost some loofah this year to frost. She had planted a bunch and lost it. Um, and that's that's where I remember uh, hearing about it. So uh, it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. Karen, Karen Cake. You got oh. Karen Karen Yarn. Yeah, that's what it's a Karen Cake yarn. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't. I'll let you i let you ladies talk about <laughs> yarn i don't have a clue i don't have a clue if you crochet first you won't like knitting um it wasn't so much that i didn't like it i just couldn't get my tension right so you know you start out i trying to do a sample and within this much i go from here to here i just can't get the tension right on it otherwise i think i would enjoy it but I don't know. I can get the tension and everything. Right I want on my her crochet. just relaxed, no <laughs> tension at all. So keep you, <laughs> Wendy. Welcome, Hardneck Farms. Welcome aboard, Wendy. Good to better late than never. That's all right. We appreciate you joining us. Mm -hmm. A lot of cracking to our, you know, um, it, it, that's what I've noticed too. Um, and our chicken, we've got a ton of them. Those those yellow pears. Um, a lot and a lot look dynamite, but after a rain, there's yeah. going to be some cracking. So, mm -hmm. um, and what I'm doing, especially for our CSA, I've let everybody know I'm picking the, not just taking the tomato off. I'm taking the tomato and the top, a, the top of it, you know, the little piece that sticks out that's on top of it. If I remove that, the cherry tomatoes seem to instantly split. So I keep that on and just say, Hey gang, here's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to take the top off, but yeah, good for dehydrating. We just had a lot of cracking on the yellows. I noticed um, they still taste great. Oh, but, yeah. uh, your sweet 100s crack. Yeah, Tani, they do. They they taste great. I had some cracked ones today after the rain, and that did not stop me from jumping into mm. about 35 of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. Send you some if I can buy them. Turn brown. Okay. Yeah. Lufa is a whole nother, whole nother thing. Um, there is a certain way to dry them and, and all that. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Two tomato plants did strange things. Okay. Uh, you know what? We had, we had one that, uh, one plant out of 40 that was just really not looking great at all as mm -hmm. soon as the other ones grew up and kind of shaded it now it's come back to life so i don't i don't know you receive rain tonight yes yes wendy hot hot dog good for you you needed it you needed it um well, everybody down south, you all needed it. Yeah. You know, we've been dry, but not nearly. Um, I was watching, uh, oh, uh, 
lands, promised land ranch, uh, Eric was talking and he, he grabbed a handful of dirt and just let it fall down. And it was just, it was like powdered sugar almost. Oh, I just can't imagine. Um, it's been, it's been tough for Oklahoma and Texas. You guys have been in a, in a whole different world. Um, three months and no rain. Hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, what plants can do, you know, with, and I, I know you've probably been watering them or, you know, helping them out, but I'm, I'm amazed how I'm sure a lot of it's genetically, uh, modified, but the corn on three sides of us, you know, it, it'll go a month and a half with no rain or, you know, a quarter inch and in no a month water, and a half no, and they don't water. It just lets it go. And it grows five feet. It, it's amazing what plants can do. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Your tomatoes in the, in the shade, they just were warm enough, but yet kept cool from the sun. Um, uh oh, I just called you old school. <laughs> Gwen, I'm old school. I don't think you're, you're, I don't know. I don't know who's old school. I think maybe if you follow old, uh, old habits, uh, whatever, if I, if I'm in trouble, just let me know. I, I've stuck <laughs> my foot in my mouth so, so many times. If I did, I apologize. <laughs> I've stuck my foot in my mouth so many times I got athlete's tongue. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, there's always something that uh, it, it is amazing. Who's trying what? Or they try something different and then yours fails and theirs doesn't. And you look and go, why have I never thought of that? That's the fun of all of our channels is everybody's trying things so different. Mm -hmm. Um putting a different spin on it or like even Glenda talking about fermenting stuff, all the, from always from, something new, something yeah, different, from how yeah. you grow it and then harvest it. And then how you prepare it. it mm -hmm. There are so many different ways of doing things. So yeah, if you're heading out, uh, Jennifer, uh, yeah, it was nice to catch a live. Uh, thank you for joining yes. us. Really do. It's good to good to hear from you. And uh, I, I'm always checking in and seeing what you're up to. Uh, you know, no good, but uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> seeing what's good and uh, what's going on. And there, there's just so much going on everywhere. Let's see. The email made sense. Okay, good. It's out there tonight. Test. Good. Good. Don uh, was making a very small version of the feeder that we put out for our chickens. And the quail were scattering feed around. So I said, put in a 90 degree angle so they've got to reach for it. If they got to reach, they can't pull all the food out. So, Don, if I sent you the wrong direction and they're still throwing it out, I'll, I'll pay for your 90 degree elbows. We'll uh, we'll make you whole there. <laughs> Tarsha, Tarsha's joining us. Welcome. Good to good to see you. Just uh, checked out your uh, your video of your live uh, with your son out there uh, helping you in the garden. Looks like you're off and uh, really running for uh, February. A lot of good stuff. Um, you know, I think uh, Mickelson uh, Homestead there yep. in southern Minnesota, they uh, are gone. Lori is, uh, yep, Lori's in New Ulm. Everybody's getting a Minnesota uh, geography lesson tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've got some severe weather up here, everybody. So that's why we're, uh, we're chitting and chatting a little bit about that. So, uh, Jasmine, that will be interesting. Gwen, oh. I will be uh, reduce, if not eliminate, buying chicken feed. I want to see what you're doing and how you're getting them. The, the one thing, even with the feed we've got, every now and then we're getting some thin shells. So, um, where I was talking about, you know, in having the right amount of calcium to help the girls uh, have a good, strong shell. So, um, if you haven't already filmed these, make sure you throw that in there. I'd love to just hear what your ideas are and thoughts. So uh, there's different spins on everything, whether it's uh, chickens mm -hmm. or whether it's, uh, you know, gardening. So let's see. Yeah, always great to see what others are up to. It really is. Um, I am so, so far behind in the comments here, trying to catch <laughs> up. 
feed through the winter. You know. Uh oh. Yeah. That's just crazy. I'm trying to catch up yeah. here. Sorry, folks. I'm reading really quick because I think I we I. Uh... <laughs> okay. Good. I, I thought, oh man, if I, <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> oh, we'll have a late winter again. A ton yeah. of new flowers. I, I was mm -hmm. trimming them again. Our, I think the cooler weather brought that all out and uh, yeah. It, cantaloupe. Yes. You know what? And I'm not a great cantaloupe grower. We've had a hard time with those um, and watermelon. Amen. Mm -hmm. I am waiting to dive into that Georgia rattlesnake after that uh, baby doll watermelon. You might be able to dive into a baby doll again tomorrow night. I love uh, it. was mm -hmm. all over my face. I just like to get in there. And, oh, man. It, it, that's one of those things. A nice evening outside, spitting seeds, and all the, all the chickens are cleaning <laughs> up all the seeds you spit. When you're done, you put the oh. rind on the ground. They will clean that up and eat the whole thing. Go get another slice. I remember last year when we cut open the first one and we're, we're bent over eating because it's just dripping. And literally the chickens are jumping up at us trying to take a bite of what we're eating. Yeah. <laughs> Got 80 onions. And that's one thing go. that uh, I think you were saying was probably a, one of the downfalls this year was just that they weren't of size. Yeah. And I don't know if you had good size to your onions. Yeah, ours, ours were more... Like this size, as far as our reds go, the yellows seem like they got a little bit bigger. And we need to pull the, yeah, we're gonna be pulling yellows and our potatoes just started to to go. So, so potatoes are yeah. gonna be harvested somewhere between now and, and Labor Day, we'll get those out of the ground. I can't wait to see potatoes because they're in the new raised mm -hmm. beds. We've been adding just layers of- Lay, Layers uh, of dirt manure, as we go. Mi mixed yeah. manure dirt on there. I'm yeah. hoping. I am really I know, I'm hoping. looking forward to them. Let's see. There'll be plenty of calcium, what they'll be eating. Okay. Oh, dynamite. I, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, um, let us know, you know, if it's if it's awful, you know, we do a, a live every two weeks. If you're going to premiere some of that and you want to announce it on the live, let us know. Those are great. Mm -hmm. um, that's always been my – that make calcium powder. And, Barb, you've got a great video. I love that uh, video. Um, and that might be the way to do it, um, to do it, to, to do it that way. Um, I was just wondering, you know, I'd asked you about baking the eggshells before you crush them and that might be, it. we've got some, it's not, is that something outside? Sorry. I, uh, our, our chickens are still, oh, they're, they're all up in their roost, but the doors are open. So, but I thought I heard some barking, like coyote barking. So. <laughs> no, if we if they were close, we'd hear it. Um, I we it's just little pellets, or not pellets, but like crushed calcium, and then we just sprinkle it around the ground. Oh, the oyster shell, oyster shell stuff. We sprinkle it around, and they yeah. they go to town on that. So um, I like the powder. You could mix that in with with some other food, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Gwen seeing what what you're gonna mm -hmm. be showing. You grew yellow, nice. okay? Baseball size, perfect. Wow, I, I think we I think we got them in the ground a little bit too far uh, instead of planting them right up at the surface. Um, and again, it was a it was a bit of a challenge keeping them dry and or keeping them moist yeah. in those raised beds. Those drain so well. Um, we'll we'll mm -hmm. make it happen. We'll make it happen. Calcium powder. Yep. Yeah, check out that link to uh, Barb's. You know, I was, uh, I had made a, a list of things, you know, we're, I, and I'm going to do a video on things to, for next year. You know, what have, what have we learned? And we really need to get our watering set up uh, to be mm -hmm. more automatic. When we do watering, it is a couple hours worth of watering by hand. Um, and we've got a big area. It's like watering a football field. And, you know, when you got to take your time, you can't just, <laughs> yeah, you can't just, you know, spray it around and be done in five minutes. It's, you want to get a good soak on when you're, yep. when you're doing it, it takes time and we're kind of tag teaming. I'll do the tomatoes and the watermelons and then she's doing the beans and the peas and the cukes. And then 
we hook another hose up and we mm -hmm. something I'm going to be really working on. Um, I don't know. There you go. Something to figure out. Yeah. Habanero. Oh, there you go. I did I see yours or some? Okay. I'm going to, uh, maybe I didn't watch. Someone else was uh, grinding up some peppers and you could tell it was. It was bugging. <laughs> it was bugging them. Get the, get the uh, the goggles on. Get the mask yeah. on. The gloves on. Um, we've got an entire row of habaneros, and they're all gonna come yep. at once. Yep. It's and that row of um, cayenne. Cayenne that we thought they're supposed to be poblanos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yep. It, it does. Nick, it, you know, and mm -hmm. every day we're filling up things for the, for the girls to keep them watered. You know, yeah. we've got two little trays and, um, yeah, Lori, your soaker hoses, you know, yeah. we put in a soaker hose last year and for some reason it was not UV resistant. Why it wouldn't be, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it should be. It's going to be above ground. It's not something you should be burying. It it started breaking down, and all of a sudden it would just kind of crack and go. And it wasn't, you know, it was just used one summer. It was not worthless. even a full summer. Not yeah. even a full summer. We just got rid of it. So, yeah. uh, um, darn it, I I got to find the right. You know, we know where the holes are in our garden, and I yeah. put a stake usually in each area it would be great to just hook a pipe along and secure it to the supports and have it just drip down i don't know i'm i'm, I'm thinking i want something permanent i want something mm -hmm. that is gonna give us what we need permanently so i don't know we'll see if people uh have ideas let me know and there you go <laughs> mm -hmm. masking goggles when you're when you're working habaneros First time I made the salsa, or one of the first times, <laughs> all I got to say is make sure you cut your onions first, then work on peppers. I worked on peppers and wasn't wearing gloves and then did onions. My eyes started to water. Of course, I rubbed my eye. Well, I'm off the races. That, that <laughs> habaneros in there, forget it. Oh, yeah. my. It was, oh, that was one of the worst. And it just burned forever. Coffee grinder on the eggshells. Yep. And the whole tomatoes. Okay. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Sweeney's Creek, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining us, uh, Stephen. I think. I think. Mm -hmm. Thanks for. Uh, there's been a few from uh, Australia that have been uh, joining us today. Uh, I'm trying to think of who, uh, oh, we had a couple, um, Stephen, I'm trying to think of uh, your wife, Julianne. Julianne, thank you. Um, you got a better, better, uh, memory than I do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, for joining us. I appreciate that. Whoops, hit the right, they break, yeah. So okay, then I well, well, and I had seen something, and I'm I'm thinking this is my probably the way for us to go, but I've seen some where it's PVC pipes. Well, and that's what I was thinking. It's something, yeah. uh, but but something also that I can blow out at the end of the year because mm -hmm. it would uh, absolutely crack if there's any moisture in it. Oh yeah. Um, just having PVC pipe coming, attaching to the supports that I've got in there, a hole down so when the water's on, it's just dripping down. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta think this through. No, we and we can blow it out. We've got my air compressor, so we'd be able to blow them out. There you go. Yeah, it was, and we don't have a lot of pressure on it from our well, so that wasn't it. I thought, okay, it's too much pressure. Nope. Um, it was. It cracked really right at where we were hooking it up to go into the garden. So it was about it was the first in the five sun. feet. Uh, it was right yeah. where it was in the sun. It wasn't in the shade of the the plants, um, but it. Yeah. I, I was not. We paid some good money for that, and it just didn't last. And Home Depot yeah. uh, wouldn't take it back because it had been most of the summer. So um, I don't know. New video yeah. in. 
two unknown bees. You got bees, all right. Or did you have bees before? I, I'll have to look back. I forget who's got bees. We're looking at having bees down the road. And at another live, I'll talk about the bees and and what uh, supplies and stuff. I've got I've got a very interesting the ask and ye shall receive uh, story. So uh, remind me of that because yeah. it'd be fun. Um, yeah. The fumes are attracted to moisture. Huh. The, the next year when I cut a bunch of onions for that, I wore uh, swim goggles. So <laughs> <laughs> I was fine. I looked like heck, but what I didn't care. I wasn't crying. So I had some yeah. great white onions and yellow onions. I was just, oh, after yeah. doing all that. Uh, Nelson's yeah. heading out. Nelson, right. thanks for thanks, joining Nelson. us. Um, I'll say it again because there's some people on here who weren't on earlier. Nelson at IP Farms just went over a thousand subscribers. If by the end of September he can get to 1100, he's going to ride Jack, his donkey or mule. I, I still don't know what it, one of them. Uh, if he can get to 1100. So if you're not subscribed to IP Farms, please do it. Um, check out uh, check out Nelson's channel. Great channel. Uh, like everybody on here, you've all got great channels. Uh, and it's fun to watch and, and hear all your stories and, and your adventures and gardening and everything. Nelson's got some great reclaiming a farm from it that has been the family farm for generations. But if we can get him to 1100 by the end of September, please help do that. I want to see him riding. I want to see him riding Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. Um, these are new edition this weekend. All right. Nice. I'm going to go, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's, I don't know, Stephen, what a you know, steep learning curve. Good. I hope you're going to share your steep learning curve because I have watched a lot of videos. I'm still, when people talk about their hive versus their super versus, uh, I'll tell you, I've got some of the, Stuff that's about eight inches and then it's square and it's got all the little frames that go in there that are waxed up. I don't know if that's a hive, if that's a super, if that's a, I don't know what it is. I know I need a base, then these things, then a top, I think. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll watch your stuff and learn along with you, but I hope you show your learning curve because I'd love to, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to learn. I just, I, I like to know something before I go into it. And I'm I'm not clueless, but I'm darn close for bees. So uh, I don't know. Riding Jack. <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Yeah. Riding Jack. Um, I think kept us from trying bees. Okay. Yeah, I I'm glad I'm not the only one uh, that's along with you. Um, Steph, Chris, I, 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 I'm clueless, and I've watched a bunch of videos. So, um, hopefully, you'll share your experiences. Fifty-gallon drum of corn is a fifty-gallon drum of corn. Is that for chickens, or uh, what do you, what do you fill them? I'd love to have fifty gallons of, of corn for my mm -hmm. girls over the winter. Um, when our guy uh, does the fields, uh, he can't make the tight corners sometimes. And so uh, some of the corn will dump in the corners and he's not going to go pick it up. So mm -hmm. we do. And then our girls uh, get some corn over the winter, helps keep them warm and um, uses up some night, of the stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uses up some of the corn that just kind of <laughs> dumped in the corners. So yeah, Gwen, that is that's gold right there. Great mm -hmm. thing. Join a beekeeping group. Uh, and that's what I should do is, uh, um, and the mentor. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the best thing. There you go. Oh, well, that's nice. very cool. That's okay. Good. Uh, I'll be watching the videos. Thank you for, uh, letting us know. Um, check your County extension. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, Bees are different. They're definitely different. And I know uh, Matt and Sarah 
uh, are only like 12 miles from us. And Matt is a big beekeeper. He's very good at it. He's got a lot of hives. Um, he talks the language. He's got supers mm -hmm. and stuff. And I just don't know it. So, uh, yeah. You know, I thought you wanted me to fund some, men <laughs> some mentors. <here. laughs> I don't know. You know what? I think uh, we're, we said we usually try to keep these to an hour, and we're at an hour and 15. Why don't we yeah. uh, kind of uh, wind it down here yeah. a little bit? we got to go put the girls in. we got to go lock up the girls and uh, check on the weather. If we're in a tornado watch here, um, check and see what's what's going on there. Thank you all for joining. Uh, we've mm -hmm. kind of had... We haven't had a huge crowd, but we've had a great discussion. Uh, every week we go off on tangents. That's what I love. <laughs> we're, we're into crocheting and uh, and which uh, melons are going to hang, the Kajari melons and stuff, and off onto bees and all that. Um, yeah. yeah. And Lori's, Lori's coming over tomorrow. Yeah. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. Um, well, you're going to be at work. Oh, what time is They're she coming? About 10 a.m. Oh, shoot. You get the ugly, you get the beast instead of the beauty. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but everybody, thank you for joining us and, uh, we'll be watching, uh, watching your stuff and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully nothing uh, mm -hmm. turns out, but we do, yeah. we appreciate everybody. Uh, check out all the channels that are on here. There's some, if you're not subscribed to everybody and we are, um, I, I can just say from me personally watching, we got some great channels represented tonight, some great stuff. So, uh, um, Tani, Lori is probably a half an hour away. New Alm to here is 30 miles at the most. Yeah. So uh, some, some country roads. So, all right, everybody. I got to go, uh, like uh, Barb says, she's got to go lock up her crew. We got to go lock up the bigs and, and the, the little. little. So everybody, <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a great yeah. week. See you in a couple weeks. Take care. Bye-bye.